Okay, so let's have a look at what the SSD supercharger does on this system. This is the laptop that we're going to be using. It's a, an eight-year-old um, Hewlett Packard NX9420. It was a very, very fast machine when we bought it, but it struggled in the meantime. Um, you can see it's an Intel Core 2 Duo, so one of the very first two-core machines. If that doesn't mean anything to you, don't worry. Uh, but this one, you can see here, it was built in 2007. So it's an eight-year-old machine very long in the tooth and what we're going to do is first of all we're going to boot it up with the normal hard disk uh, we've got the timing machine here which we'll use as a stopwatch we'll record how long it takes to boot up in as a normal machine as the uh, as it was bought and then we'll replace the hard disk with the ssd and then we'll time that one as well so let's see how they stack up next to each other This is the SSD supercharged machine. So if we hit the start button and we start the timer, we'll see how long this takes to boot up. Obviously, during the boot up process, the hard disk is used quite a lot because it's got to get a lot of information of what Windows is, how to load it up, what you have in your startup. Everything has to be loaded in from scratch. So this is where you will often find that uh, the computer slows down quite a lot. And as you can see, we're now coming into Windows. It's 25 seconds. How long before we can get our desktop up? Okay, so the desktop's there. 30 seconds. Let's see if we can get oh, Excel open. And we've got Excel. We've, we can already use it, as you can see. So that's nice and easy. Shut that down and let's get a video loaded. So at this time, we're still loading up a load of Windows. But as you can see, the computer's having no trouble whatsoever processing it. It's absolutely fine. No bottleneck. So let's shut the machine down. And this whole process from doing all of that has taken, what, one minute and five. Let's wait till the screen actually goes blank. One minute, ten seconds. So with the SSD in, we managed to boot this machine up in 1 minute and 10 seconds. So let's see what happens when we boot up the machine with its normal hard disk. So it's exactly the same machine. There's nothing has changed on this at all, except we have replaced the hard drive with an SSD. The, uh, load, the loading procedure is exactly the same. It's loading exactly the same programs. It's loading exactly the same drivers. It's got no difference whatsoever in, in what it's got to do. The only difference between these two machines is literally the the hard drive that it's using in order to, to load everything up. So we're now coming up to 30 seconds. The machine has brought up uh, our first window screen. Let's see how long it takes for us to get the desktop up. I think you've probably still got time to make a cup of tea. In fact, this machine, before we started clearing it up, it, it was literally taking six or seven minutes to uh, to actually become usable. Um, so we did quite a lot of work in order to reinstall Windows, reinstall all of the applications that we use. Um, so this is as clean as this machine gets. And as you can see, we're now one minute, well, we're, we're one minute, 10 seconds into it before we get the desktop up. So let's see if we can get excel loaded like we did on the last machine i pressed the start button we're waiting for it to respond the hard disk is churning away it's got a lot of work to do okay so it's only just given us the startup sounds but we've managed to get the start menu up and we've got excel now loading so let's see how long it takes for us to actually be able to use it Yep, had time to make a cup of tea by the looks of things. Ah, here we go. Got a little bit of action here, Microsoft Excel. Uh, sorry about the, the white balance on this, it's not quite right, but um, you get the idea, that's the splash screen, the starting screen for, for Excel. And here we are, right, so can we use it? Yes, right, so we've now got, it's, it's a little bit sluggish, but we can start working. Uh, two minutes and 10 seconds on the board. Let's get the video up, and it's exactly the same video. It's got to do exactly the same amount of work as, as it did with the SSD in there. And we've double clicked on the video. It's The hard disk is still churning away. It's still finding an awful lot of work that it's got to do, but here we go. We've got, no, we haven't. We're, we're thinking about the video. We're 
two minutes and 37 seconds into it. We're now we've got the video. So this is all good. So let's shut that down. We didn't even let it run for as long as we did with the SSD, but let's see how long it gets till we've got a completely shut down screen. We are now two minutes, 55 seconds in. And the machine's still thinking about shutting down, as you can see. Still thinking about shutting down with three minutes. And there we go, three minutes and six seconds. So almost two minutes longer just to do that brief test. So you can imagine what difference it makes with, with running several applications side by side. Um, the boot process takes a long time. Obviously, it's got a lot of work to do in that time. But we have demonstrated quite clearly how much faster that machine was. So there we have it. It's a fairly convincing win for the SSD supercharged upgrade. Uh, if you'd like to have the same sort of upgrade done on one of your PCs or all of your PCs, then simply come to the Cotswold IT Guide.co.uk or call me on 07933 721295. Thank you very much for watching.